Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where I took a quick look through our vassals. I believe this to be our, oh he doesn't have a face here. Perfect. I believe this to be our only, he, he does up here. I keep getting distracted by the lack of face. I'm sorry, but that's very distracting. I believe this to be our only non-king vassal. I don't know that for an absolute fact, but I did take a quick look through and I believe that to be the case. So I'm going to grant this vassal over here. And we're also at one direct vassal above. So I'd like to do a combination over here as well. This is already a kind of franking kingdom going on here. So that's not really going to be a great option. This is also a franking kingdom. So we're going to need to do something about that, right? So let's take a quick look through our vassals here. We've got, say, this guy. Uh, that's not where the title is. The title is out over here. Yeah, we can revoke this. That's absolutely fine. So he'll accept that. We revoke that straight away. Perfect. And we're going to grant that over to, like, this guy. He's very, very small. So we're going to do exactly that, granting only recent titles, the Sultanate of Orissa. Perfect. And we're one direct vassal above right now, which I did expect that to change, which probably means that somewhere there is a duchy level vassal. So let's take a quick look through here. What do we got? Anything at all. These are all barony rank vassals. And now we're up in kings. And barons again. And more weak kings. Okay. I don't see any through here immediately. We're probably too high for dukes or counts at this point. Probably. Okay. So in that case... We're just going to take a look through here and see what else we can do. We could get another combination going, theoretically, like this one. Done. So we're going to grant that over to... Wait a sec. <laughs> this was a double king. Okay, he's going to be very upset about that. We're going to give it right back to him. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to go really well. Perfect. So what do we have going on over here? This we could theoretically combine together, but he's already a double king. So that's not a great option. What else do we have here? Mm, potentially, but already a double king. Actually, a triple king. This guy could work. So we'll revoke that title and we'll toss it in over here, granting the Sultanate of Kam. Perfect. And we know that we have a few vassals over here that need to be granted as well. So that'll be perfect. In theory, we can get all of this taken care of until we have one additional vassal, which will be very soon. But we can grant this title over here. That is... No, we want to grant vassal. That would help. Okay. There we go. Now we're at our correct vassal limit. Perfect. Our heir is unmarried. I don't know how much we really care about that. We just don't have a child yet. Yeah. So we're currently truced with everyone over on this flank except Biarmaland and actually Galicia Volhynia. We're not going to go after them immediately. I want to attack Romania first here. We can Holy War for a kingdom? I suppose we could, couldn't we? We should go for like Bavaria for our Holy War if we're going to do that. This would be a good one. No doubt about that. I want to attack Italy. We have some de jure lands here. What all lands is this? Not much. Okay, we should probably go for claims or just simply a conquered duchy instead. And Kona's okay. We can definitely do that. So I'm going to declare this war. And then on Romania, we're going to go for a conquered duchy as well. Spolito actually is perfect. So we'll do that. We'll fight these two. And then the papacy. Do we want to do the papacy as well? Why not? Why not unland the Pope? Done. Okay, so we're going to raise up our forces over here. Are we going to be able to dismantle the papacy from this? I don't think so. What are the requirements for dismantling the papacy again? Uh, here. He needs to not be landed, not be at war, and we would need to completely control the region of Italia. Okay, that's going to be a bit. So we're probably not going to be able to do that. But that's okay. 
That's absolutely fine. We should raise up a few levy forces here. Sure, show in the Sultan. What do we got? Also, what's going on here? No, seriously, what is going on here? A dissolution faction that's not actually going to happen? Is that what's happening here? I do believe that's what's happening here. So they attacked us. That's very rude. We're going to have to retreat here because our men-at-arms hadn't showed up yet. Assuming... Wait a sec. Yeah, we're going to have to retreat here. That's okay. We'll definitely do so. We have to wait until this retreat starts. And it was just a greedy raise, right? So we're going to raise our men-at-arms here. This is fine. We don't actually have an issue with this. Unfortunately, they got there slightly before we were going to have our men-at-arms or a critical mass of levy troops. So that does delay us slightly, but it's not the end of the world under any circumstances. It's absolutely fine that we lose that battle. No problem whatsoever. Our wife is pregnant. That will be handy for our succession situation. Three, two, one, zero, and there's our men-at-arms. So we're going to head on down. And of course, now that our men-at-arms have arrived, we win these battles. So that's perfect. We only lost 1% war score from that too, so that's great. Unfortunately, they finished up their siege, but we're going to get it back really quickly. So in we go here. No problem. They're actually piling in. And of course, they lose this, right? There's no way that they succeed it under any circumstances. Another wife is pregnant, also convenient for us. And let's take back Urbino real quick. That's a little slower of a siege, but it's fine. Okay, we're safe from bubonic plague. I didn't even know we had bubonic plague. Well, good thing we're safe from it. Well, it was in our court. We didn't have it. I should make that clear. I'm keeping an eye on their movements up over here, and it's intriguing. I'm not entirely sure what their plan here is. But we should split off a siege force here and definitely go fight them, right? Absolutely we should. So let's split off about... I feel like this should be at least 30k. And then we could just make our way up over here like so. Get ourselves a siege leader here. There we go. And at least now, Ticking War Score isn't against us. So we pop up here and give battle. They're bringing in a fair number of additional forces, but we definitely catch part of their force here. Oh, this is really bad for them. They took so long to turn these guys around that they actually had half of their army get stack wiped there. This is threatening to our siege force. We're going to have to wander up this direction. And we're going to head southward and deal with these guys. That should be a stack wipe. Wow, they sieged that very quickly. And downward we go. Okay, so we're going to siege here. We're going to siege this quite quickly as well. Now they're being kind of awkward with, with their running around here. No doubt about that. But we're at 71% war score here. This is fine. It's not actually a problem, right? I do want to fight them over here. Fighting them in hills is not ideal, but it's better than mountains. We just got 2,000 gold. Like, we need that. Okay, so they have a small numerical advantage. There's the Pope's army. Hi, Pope. Cool. So we find ourselves capped in battle war score at this moment in this war. We do need to head down here and siege. I'd also like to go fight the Pope while these guys are retreating. I wonder if the Pope's going to get relanded. That'll be interesting. That'll be very interesting, in fact. It doesn't really matter to us since we're planning on a world conquest. We'll definitely be able to dismantle the papacy. But it would definitely be intriguing. So this war is over and we're going to enforce those demands. Then, of course, we're going to head down over here. Now, we have this duchy under us at this moment, and that's fine. They're walking straight back into us. This is really bad for them. I don't know why they do this. Very pointless. Funnily enough, Italy joined in this war, so we're still fighting Italy. That's kind of hilarious, I'll be honest. We've only got 50 days here, and this is a problem. Okay. So we're going to arrive here in six days. They're going to arrive here in eight. 
if we were to turn around, we could make our way back up over here. And be there one day before they arrive here. That's a safer route to go, I feel like. Maybe we don't get out, actually. No. Okay, I misread the tooltip. It's fine. We should be able to retreat this. I don't think they stack wipe it. Correct. So we retreat that, and actually that's a really solid retreat. I don't mind that at all. I like that retreat. No, that's really solid. So we're going to finish up this siege here, and we're going to wander up over here. I guess we could be a military engineer. We're going to wander up over this way. We finished up this siege, of course, and we're going to group together our forces here. Our numbers are a bit on the low side, I feel like. So we're going to do something along the lines of this. Well, I guess we're fighting them here. Okay. Well, that stack wipe. Cool. We're going to wander up over this way now, and we're looking to stack wipe this force as well. These guys are grouping up on the location we'd like to be on. I feel like we probably don't win that. We're not actually getting a prediction of it. We do outnumber them two to one. And they are gathering. Yeah, as I thought, I didn't think we'd win that. That's fine. We'll retreat from here as soon as we are allowed to. It doesn't actually matter. And we're actually losing this fight as well. Okay, we're going to have to... We're, we're, we're just being greedy, right? That's what this means. We are being greedy. We're going to have to raise up some additional forces here. We're going to retreat here. That is mildly painful. Where are we retreating to? Okay, so we're going to have to wander off this way, right? So we're going to want to raise up some forces here. We're retreating to functionally the same locations. So yeah, this is fine. This is just indicative that we're being greedy. That's that's the entire the entire thing. So we're going to group up over here, and we're going to raise up some actual troop counts. There we go. This force can group together and come look to fight. And this force is, of course, going to head down and look to siege. We don't necessarily want them to come down right away like this, though. So just pop down over here, let these guys all group together, and then we're going to sneak on by. Something like that. Okay. So now we're being less greedy. No doubt about that. And that was definitely some greed plays right there. But it's fine. We can scale up our army. No worries whatsoever. Ticking war score should be against us with both of these right now, which is mildly awkward. What's also mildly awkward is the fact that Italy decided to rejoin. It's certainly awkward. We're going to hop down over this way and get some sieges on. I want to select here and grab down in Lanciano. That would be great. I'm keeping an eye on this situation here. We'll visit our court when we see fit. Get out of here. So, are they fighting each other? They're fighting each other. Okay. I'm fine with that. N it's not that we're having difficulty with this, right? It's just that we were being greedy. So, this is fine. We're going to hop on over this way. This siege is, of course, exceptionally slow. And we knew that that would be the case. This is deeply unsurprising. I want to grab this siege and move up over here. 17 days? Yes, this looks acceptable. So we want to relieve this siege. And hopefully we don't get sniped here. We'll see. And we're getting sniped. Okay. So that is unfortunate. We'll abandon this siege and walk on over. They're not going to like this situation, of course. We're going to get here in time. And just for that, I'm going to eliminate the Pope first. Cool. Okay, so we're going to eliminate the Pope first here, and we're going to head off over this direction. We need to continue to do battle. Oh, they're turning directly around again. Okay. Mildly irritating, for sure. We're actually not going to catch them here, but the fact that they only retreated to here means that we have to move in and eliminate them here. It's sad, but... That does mean we're going to have to walk away from this for a bit. Okay. So the Pope is going to be eliminated quite soon here. 
and there we go. The Pope is actually eliminated there. So we're going to enforce those demands. Rome is our territory. We are, of course, going to grant that out. We don't want to hold that ourselves. And we're going to grant that over. Perfect. And we're going to walk up over here. And then we're going to go lift this siege. Beautiful. Definitely awkward with the... Not really amount of troops that they have, but more the shape of this war overall. The, the shape of this war was what was awkward. This is going to be very good for us, of course. We're probably maxed on our battle war score by now. Yes, we are. This siege will end the war. So we're just waiting on that at this point. Eight more days? Perfect. And all we needed to do was stop being greedy, right? That was literally the whole thing. So that's fine. We're going to disband that. And who do we give this to? That's an interesting question. We can't get these kingdoms. I think we give it to Burgundy here. Yeah, I think that's the only real option. So we're going to toss this on over. We're going to toss this on over. And we're going to toss this on over. No, that's Grant Title. Grant Vassal. Perfect. So something along the lines of that. Now that's Romagna there, and there's still a little bit of Italy left here. That's all looking reasonably fine. Now, I want to go after Bavaria. We're probably going to do just a singular Bavarian war here, because we know we're going after the kingdom title. Yeah. Let's declare that for the moment. We could go after Germany as well. We're currently at war with him. Oh, he's defending against us in the Holy War for the Kingdom of Bavaria. Okay, so we'll have to declare on him afterwards. That's fine. Not a big deal here, and let's not be greedy this time. Let's raise our men-at-arms. Let's raise some levy troops. Magnificent. It's still kind of a greedy raise, to be honest, but it's fine. We're going to raise, like, 150k. Perfect. And we go. Actually, we should head over here, now that I think about it, because we don't want to take this attrition. So that'll be fine for now. Our men-at-arms will be arriving in 10 days. They've definitely got some numbers out over here. 250,000. Really? Okay. Well, we'll raise up some additional forces over here while we're grouping up. There we go. And let's split out our bombards and a siege force. We're continuing to raise up. Okay, that'll do. Sure, show in this guy. And let's head on up this way. Perfect. Let's get a siege commander. That is ourselves. No thank you on that. Another siege commander. This guy will do. Okay. So we're going to group up over here. We're going to pick up what forces we can here. Let's go to 250. Cool. That looks great. And we're going to meander on over and do some fighting. This is spooky. Yeah, they're going to come south here. I'm deeply unsurprised about that. We have four days left on this. That only saves us one day. Okay. We did finish the siege. Perfect. So we're going to retreat our siege force here. Never mind. We're going to get stack wiped in our siege force. That is very sad. So much for not being greedy. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to continue to fight here. And they're just piling in over this way. We're going to win. It's not a problem. They can't deal with that. And we're going to head down over this way. They can't get all of this sieging back either. So we're going to get, we're going to get our men-at-arms here eventually. We'll let these recover for a little bit. That'll be fine. I wasn't expecting them to have another force that comes in from over here that quickly. But I guess it makes sense. These are the Hungarian forces. I didn't necessarily expect Hungary and Italy is in this again, too. Okay. Everybody has decided they hate us. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not shocked about that, to be honest. That is deeply, deeply unsurprising. We're going to come back northward here and continue to fight. I do want to raise ourselves up another force of our men-at-arms. We're not going to raise any levy troops here for the moment. Hi, pause menu. So we're going to get this war done, or rather this battle done, and we might think about heading south here. Do they stack wipe? I don't think so. No, they just retreat. 
Okay, we'll head over here. We've got this territory down here that's a, a very minor concern. I'm I'm really not concerned about that. Okay. So with them retreating out over this direction... Hang on, they're turning around here? Noted. So we're locking into taking out at least 9,000 of their troops here. And then we can go here and catch them theoretically there as well, but they do get out... We can try to catch them at their capital. Yep, do it. I love it. So that's going to get us more stack wiping there. Throw him out. There's some smallpox going on. So we'll get out of there. A degraded relationship. Okay. I do want to make our way up over here. And we'll look to stack wipe that for us as well. Our men-at-arms haven't arrived just yet. How long until they do? Four months? Sure. That's absolutely fine. We're at 37% from battles right now, so let's just head on over this way and see about catching this force. Beautiful. That sounds absolutely great. So that's going to be another stack wipe. We just had a son, who is now our player heir. Perfect. Do we want to go deal with this issue down over here? Actually, yes, we do. So we're going to head down that way. And I'm going to start raising up some additional levy forces over here. Perfect. So how many do we actually want here? I'm going to go for like... And I'd like to swing around over this way. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I'm going to go for about 50k here, I think. That'll be fine. We'll fight them over here, and they're going to really start piling in here, I think. But that's fine. We should win that if we've got 100k. That's completely, completely okay. And we'll let these last bombards come on in. We're winning this battle. No problem there. 15 more days until our bombards. So yeah, this is completely fine. Mildly awkward, but completely fine. Okay. So we'll group these together. No more is our siege force going to be greedy. And for the time being, we're going to back off slightly here. They're going to be retreating for a bit. We're at 66% war score. Let's start up a slow siege up over here for the time being. I'm noting this force up here. Can we get there without attrition? It would be 10k. Okay, I'm going to hold off on that for right now. This siege is over. We're going to wander on up. We're at 79% war score right now. Let's just get this wrapped up. Eh, sure. Maybe get a martial lifestyle perk. We'll give it a go. We've got enough coin to pay for the damages. We have uh, over a million gold. That's not a concern in the slightest. Yeah, these are all fine. Okay, we're going to walk over here. We're at 87% war score right now. I think I can come up with a solution for that. Cool. Hmm. We already rule by divine right, of course, but... Uh, They'll grow tired of playing holy soldiers soon enough. We'll lose some stress. Not that we had it. The exercise didn't go as planned, but at least we have self-sufficient soldiers. Okay, we're at 91. We're going to take over this siege. Will this end the war? It might. Yep, perfect. Okay, so let's get out of that one. There we go. There's Bavaria under our control. All of this needs to be granted out. Okay, we're going to do this nice and easily by going to the King of Burgundy, and we're going to grant him... Oh, we don't have the kingdom title, do we? The kingdom title of Bavaria. We need to usurp that. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go to the King of Burgundy, and we're going to grant him the Sultanate of Bavaria. He's going to be very happy with us, of course. And there we go. We're no longer wildly over our domain limit, and we don't have to worry about handing all that out for right now. There will probably be problems later, but that'll do. So we have a lot of openings at this point. We can go after Bohemia. We can go after what remains of Bavaria. We can go after Austria. We can go after Hungary from this side or this side. We can go after Germany, Palabia. We can not go after Poland yet unless we wanted to, you know, jump through. Same with Pomerania. Lithuania, we... Do we have borders here? I don't know. This There's this lake here. Maybe we have borders with Lithuania. 
definitely after the next round of wars. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, but we're getting very close to having Europe under our control. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy Begar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.